What's happening, Reject Nation? Greg Alba here. Ah, John here. And Renee. Renee's here too. <laughs> Renee Speak Ariel. up, Renee. Come on. I'm here. Renee Ariel from uh, Instagram and Twitter. That's where she's from. It's <laughs> Instagram Born and Twitter. Born and raised. Follow her there. She is part of Clever TV and Clever News, After Buzz TV as well. She's she's just becoming this ultimate host of all internet things. And also, she has her dating blog, Sexting in the City. Hey, Renee, transition time. Have you ever had to meet a boyfriend's father? Yes. Well, that's not what this movie's about, but that's the best I got for this transition. Great segue. Daddy's Home, <laughs> part two. That's what we pride ourselves on most, is segues. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're killing it. It's like killing, killing it. Killing it. What I know from this group at this couch, I'm the only one that's seen Daddy's Home, part one. So there's a sequel. Mm -hmm. um, Renee's favorite celebrity, Mel Gibson's in here. Mm -hmm. And John's favorite celebrity, John Cena's in here. I do like John Cena. Yeah, <laughs> I think call. he's gonna be in the trailer. And John Lithgow. Lithgow. I love him. I said Renee Ariel again, didn't I? You might have. Renee Ariel. Okay. I'm just, that's just I'm just gonna start just, going by Renee Ariel. I'm sorry. Apparently that's no, 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 no. What I should be called, Greg. No, no, no. I'm gonna no, figure no, out how to pronounce no, both of your names even more wrong. Good. Okay, one. Yeah. We gotta fix the price. It's like the same trailer. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's nice. So this Kodash thing. You gotta ask another man's permission to see your own kids. Everything's rock solid between me and Brad here. In fact, best friends. Really? Brad, thank you. Because <laughs> we're boys. <laughs> Here's the game plan. Maybe that one that she tells you about all of her problems with the guys she's actually dating. It's called the friend zone. No, no, no. It's the worst advice anyone could give you. You want to be like Brad and be in the friend zone? You want to be like Dad and get in the end zone? Oh, oh gosh. Those piercing eyes. Whoa. Oh, he's up to. Damn. Harping bad things. No, I'm not harboring anything. I just want to find the perfect together Christmas tree. You don't think I can operate a chainsaw? Oh, Cut down cell phone tower. I think Brad's dead again. Daddy! Don't you want to spend the holidays through one true, real death? Brought him all the way up here just to get back at me. Yep. You're opening up the harbor, Brad. Oh, the harbor's wide open. And it's Fleet Week. This is getting good, boys. We're gonna send the ones who are gonna you throw that we are no longer co dads. You gonna pump fake that thing all night? You never take a shot, Brad. Huh? He's never played sports ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you stuck to his hand. Let us you know what. Psych, you go for them. Oh. I could tell by your guys' reaction that you two are definitely going to be paying $13 at your local Cinemark North Hollywood Plex to go watch this movie. I'm going to double feature this and Bad Moms because I'm equally as excited about it. <laughs> That's a really great idea. Yeah. What would you rather watch, Daddy's Home 2 or Bad Moms Christmas? Oh. That's tough and not for the good reasons. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Spiritually, I want to say Bad Moms 2, but I feel like just, I don't know, the jokes in this trailer appealed to me more. The feminist in me... And the one who wants to look good in front of all women, the ten women who watch this channel. I wish more women. I want to say channel. Bad Mom's Christmas, <laughs> but Daddy's Home too. I'm just way more drawn to. You know, I'm one of this. This is not going to make me look good. I know, Renee. I've been a supporter of Mel Gibson's comeback for quite some time now. Yes, I know you work for uh, celebrity news <laughs> stuff, so we don't have to go into it. This isn't going to make me look good, but you know, I like Will Ferrell. <laughs> yeah. The problem with. 
this movie that I see happening is kind of how I felt about the first Daddy's Home. I feel like when they focus in on like dialogue and committing to absurdity and dialogue, that's when it's funny. But when they go like full slapstick, like cutting down the tree and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. that just looks like corny, dumb comedy to me. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, you got, it's it's like, it's so weird watching the Bad Moms Christmas trailer seeing a bunch of strong, powerful actresses in one movie in a stupid kind of comedy. And then the same kind of thing here. It's yeah. the same. <laughs> it's like the same. Con it's like a very similar concept. It's almost the same thing. Should it's like a just called bad dads. Bad dads. That <laughs> flows better. Bad that flows way better. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. You're welcome. Bad dads. <laughs> hey, sell that right sell now. That. <laughs> to call Jeff Hollywood. I will. He messed up. I should just help him out. You know. I'm not excited for this at all. I, I don't think they needed a second one. I'm. I. I don't like it. Well, I don't think they need a second one, and I didn't no. even see the first one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just overload. Like, the humor is just overload for me. I just don't find it funny. I feel like all of this, all of the humors and all the, the jokes in this movie, I just like, has been over done the telephone pole really yeah. like and why and then they put that in the trailer because they like they really want people to watch it yeah, yeah. please look it's yeah. funny and it's Guys. like mm, but is it i'm hoping that uh having john lithgow and mel gibson i hope that when the four of them are on screen together will ferrell mark Wahlberg, mel gibson john lithgow when they're all on screen and john cena john too. cena like when they're all there i'm hoping that's really funny the first trailer i thought was funnier this one was like all right i'm probably still gonna see it just because uh i surprisingly like the first one like half of it so i'll probably tune in again for this one but yeah it's all, it looks all right yeah yeah you know i mean i feel like this is the kind these are both the kinds of movies where if you're into that kind of movie then you'll probably really dig it but this just isn't yeah. and what is the audience comedy. for dads. <laughs> all dads just dads is your it just dad dads? watched the movie it's daddy's like a, home dad these raunchy <laughs> type of christmas movies all right yeah they're all christmas themed yeah i'm just kind of over raunchy we christmas get it. i was wrong this, yeah this is, I, well, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Will Ferrell should have just done Elf and then left it at that. Yeah. Dude, Elf is great. That's the only Christmas movie that he should. This, I mean, maybe there'll be another. I would I would rather watch an Elf 2 than this, and I don't think that they should make an Elf You know two. what they would call Elf 2? Elfed up. Oh, no. Get Elf no. up. I hate Get it. It's oh. a raunchy elf movie. <laughs> that actually, that, that I mean, seriously bugs me. Yeah, that's actually that. pretty crazy. Yep, yeah, see? I should work for you, Mr. Hollywood. Hey, guys, <laughs> subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Dat John Humphrey. <laughs> hey, D-A-T. Like, dad, whatever. It's not working. Dad John Humphrey on Twitter and Instagram. Renee Ariel on Instagram and Twitter. Follow her. Her social media is blowing up. Probably because you can also catch her on Clever TV and Clever News. Clever. And wait a minute. She's also on, uh, what's that, After, After Buzz TV. And uh, also she has her Sexing in the City blog where she gives you ultimate dating advice, but it's also funny. I do. Yeah. That's what I do. That's how you promote someone. We got a lot of shit going on, Renee. <laughs> where yeah. can't we find you? Yeah. At Renee Ariel. Make oh, sure it's Ariel. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, cut the camera. <laughs>